Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die with myself and Lady Shelab. Say hello, Lady Shelab. Hi, everyone. Okay, Shelab is currently working on digging an entrance to a mountain fort, it seems. I, I approve of this plan so much. As Good. I think I'm glad. everyone on my channel will. Well, they they have been wondering why why I haven't dug into... Why we're not uh, being dwarf here. Yeah, no, pretty much, yeah. The, the, the term strike the earth has uh, occurred on more than one occasion. Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah, Sorry. that's okay. I'll just... Uh, oh, no, no, this is wood now. Let me dig through that. There we go. Uh, and the train is completely deformed. Oh, dear. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Woof. Oh, well. uh, problem solved. You said that you wanted it um, two or three. So I figured three would yeah. give a little bit more... We need the clay dirt anyway for a number of uh, yeah, exactly. smelting projects. If we want to make lots of bullets, which we do, I will allow you to do the bottom and I'll work along the top. This is starting to get a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah. Now, so do you want to tell us... I just need to get that initial direction. Yeah, sure. Do you want to tell us what kind of uh, plans you have in mind? So other than it being a corridor, what are the other features? Corridor, and then also it's going to have a killing box at the end, so the mm -hmm. zombies can't get to us. But we're going to have some doors that can be opened and closed and stuff, so that they sort of think they can get to us. Right. Okay. So you're going to be uh, in the way that I was preying on the fact that if I left an open way to me mm -hmm. with my last uh, horde base design, but made it difficult for yeah, a zombie so to navigate. They would never really think of tunneling through the walls because they always thought they had an easier um Yeah, so path zombies like to me. doors. Yeah, that's zombies really actually like true. Doors. Yeah, yeah. Um so we put some doors at the end and then they're going to be like, "Oh, we can totally get to you, you through this door." They'll bash on the doors. They'll run to the end of the corridor to try and bash the doors. We'll be able to shoot them, put traps in, whatever we want to do. Awesome. Sounds like a really cool plan. Right. Very simple plan. All right. Well, it looks like you've done an amazing job of uh, picking the location now. It, you're already hitting rock, I think. Is that rock there? Yeah. Oh, um, no, that's dirt still, but it was going to be oh, no, very, no, very No, this soon. is definitely rock. There's still a bit of dirt above there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. But most of it's rock. How now. high do you want the ceiling to be? I want a good couple of, a good couple of tiles of rock above us. Okay. So I think... If we just dig it back, maybe another one or so. Right. Well, I'm going to get my steel pick out now. What we could do, if you want to have guaranteed rock above us, is keep digging back mm -hmm. until the ceiling, the, the one tile of the ceiling of the entrance is rock. The entire rock face is rock, if yeah. that makes sense. And then from there, that would be the start of your corridor, however long you're going to make it. Have you got any ideas on yeah. how long you want to turn the corridor? I want to see, I want to go for about eight and then see how long that looks. Okay. Oh, this is all still blinking. I changed my tool and it's all still blinking dirt down here. Grr. That's not a problem. We'll get through it fast enough. Go away, dirt. We're getting into the uh, the rock face now. Again, the game yeah. does have a bit of a weird um, way that the terrain deforms when you're mining. And it can be super, super misleading. And it's, it's true of mining as it well. It can look like rock. It can look like rock when it's dirt. It can yeah, look like... because of the way it kind of blends the textures of nearby tiles. And because, again, it doesn't make a, a great uh, job of showing you the difference with a tile. Um, like where the tile borders are, because it's trying to make the terrain look a little bit more realistic. And I do appreciate that. I think it adds a really nice effect. But it does make any kind of building work when you're dealing with the the natural terrain much, much harder than it probably needs to be. Um, I'll continue digging from up to try and uh, bring this down so you've got a flat surface. Oh, uh, yeah, that's great. To, to estimate where the, the rock really starts properly. There we go. And again, like on my screen, uh, my viewers would have been able to see that the kind of jutting out spike of dirt, that wasn't there. That was purely a, a visual enhancement to try and make it the uh, the terrain look less uniform than it really is. And uh, as, as much as that is nice, overall, it does cause issues. My shovel is worn out. Okay. Uh, again. 
so I don't know if you can maybe just dig out the last few little bits of dirt, save me having to go all the way back for a repair kit again, because I had to use a, a repair kit on my crossbow as well. Yeah, of I course. I bring a couple out, and then I had to use it. I'll just start digging down from up here. I am going to return to a bit of scavenging, though, shortly, I think. I've also got some uh, skill points to spend that I do need to spend. Um, I want to see if I can find some more crossbows. Uh, or bows, for that matter. Anything that actually breaks down into bow parts, because I want to start making better uh, quality crossbows, so that they wear out a little bit less frequently. Definitely get into that kind of I think now. I may just need to go back, because I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I've got no stamina, and oh, my stuff yeah. is broken, so yeah, yeah. And I just need a little a little trip home, I think. Right, yeah. When you get back, I should have the rock face at least a little bit more. Uncover Peak, but could you bring me some bacon and egg and... Um, uh-huh. I don't know, if we've got some golden rod, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea. Whatever I find on the fire, I shall bring over. Thank you. I've got some honey in my own tree. I'm fairly certain I dropped that off. So I may have gotten that from just a tree? Surely not. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, be unhappy with that, but... If you could just get honey from chopping down trees, that would be, like, insane. Okay, that, we're now Special. getting very close to this being just pure rock face. I have my steel pickaxe. As soon as I've got the, uh, as soon as we've got a crucible, which means we need a workbench, I'll be able to start making iron into steel and uh, start work on making this level two steel tools. That's fantastic. Uh, let's have another drink of water. Almost got a thousand clay saw, which is great. That we can use yeah, that to make bullet some of that straight in, straight into the forge. Like, so we really, really need that for making repair kits, if nothing else. Yeah. Now, given that this uh, corridor is going to rely on a tunnel into the mountain, I think it, it does behoove me to to help out quite a lot with the uh, the digging as well. Um, so this will be a job for two people, I think, because there's going to be so much of this one particular type of work. So I do apologize if it is a little yeah. bit uh, tedious, but it's going to be amazing when it's done, I'm certain. It'll be worth it. Yeah. I'm actually really excited to see what Lady She Love has in store. Uh, right, let me drop down some frames, make no sure I've got this going. Anything. You're just like, so excited, so excited that Lady She Love's going to do all this awesome stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine, none of us do. This is how we learn. <laughs> okay, so for a repair kit. Ugh, I need duct tape. Of course, we never just have duct tape because it all gets used so fast. Uh, we've got plenty of bones. But we do have glue. No, we've got glue. Oh, fa fantastic! Glue, then. So that's fine. It's even better. It's just glue and cloth, isn't it? Yep. Better have cloth. You know what? Why do I keep repairing my level one shovel? That's super dumb. And the reason why it's super dumb is, A, I'm having to constantly repair it, whereas I could make a level two shovel and it would take uh, twice as long to break down. But a level two shovel does more damage because we're back to quality being a big indicator of the amount of function a, an item has rather than just how many mod slots it has. So a level two shovel is going to do the job better. I should have, I should have changed that. I have no cloth. Time. I've got 94 pieces of cloth on me. That's probably how. Uh, I do apologize. I will be back in just a moment. It's okay. Um, I can get them off you in a minute. Yeah, if you just bring forged iron with you. Yeah, I just bring, I'll bring the forged iron uh, that I'm making, and I'll also bring the... <laughs> Why I'm carrying 94 cloths, I have no idea. <sighs> Sometimes. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, wait, no, I, I remember now. I needed the cloths to make torches. And I made four torches right. out of, like, four cloth. But, yeah, yeah, I just carried all of the cloth with me. Yeah, just because. There we go. Now, once we've... See, what I often do is if I need something and I just don't know how much I'm going to need of it and there's, like, tons of it and I probably won't need very much, I just... Um, Right click and drag half a stack so that there's some left for other people. That is a very, very good way of doing it. And I shall uh, endeavor to adopt it. 
Moving forward. Yeah, I thought you might like that way. So I'm coming over. Right, you. Get your cloth. Are you bringing the food and the drinks? Oh, uh, yes, I got some food. Hooray. There was only one bacon and egg, though, I could see, though. We should have some boiled meat, I... though. Yeah, I ate that. Oh, okay. Here's your bacon and eggs. Thank you. Here's the cloths. Dunk. And th there's a water. There's not much water left, either. Really? Uh, uh, you oh, no, now I picked up your bottled water. It is okay. Burr. Really should be making tea with it to avoid the uh, yes. chance of having any uh, any food poisoning. Oh, you've done a wonderful job here. Thank you. You're welcome. The mountain is now starting to get steep enough that approaching it from the base is difficult. It's starting to become perilous to climb. Like, That's good because that means that the zombies are going to be less likely to want to climb up. Well, there. they may still spawn above us. But then they'll just run straight down. Because if if the if where we are, if our kill box is deep enough into the mountain, then there is absolutely a chance that they'll spawn on top of the mountain. But they will still try to path direct to the entrance because yeah. it'll be so um time consuming to to even consider digging that deep into the mountain in order to get to us from the top. And I, I think that's what you wanted with having the stone roof, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I want a nice, big, chonky stone mountain roof that uh, the zombies won't be able to get through. Okay, I think we're actually close to the point now where it is just um, stone. How tall are you making the corridor, do you think? It's going to need to be at least three, I think, because I want to put some water in and we're going to need it to be big enough for demolishers as well. So it might even need to be four tall. Okay. Three or four. Well, I think at that point, we may be at the, the point now where digging further into the mountain, like from the top down is gonna be unnecessary. Yeah. I'll just help out with bringing the rock face level with where I put the the kind of uh, dirt face, I suppose you could say. And then from there we can see uh, how the rock stands. But if we need to do a little bit more excavation up, then I'll happily do that as well. There we go. This is actually going to be nice. I, I don't think we really had a proper mining project in the, the last space. I mean, we were ex excavating for rooms. We were excavating the basement a little bit. We didn't have yeah. a, a real mine as such, I would have said. I would agree with you on that one. There we go. Now is that level? It is level. It looks like, yeah, it looks like we're, we're at the, the point now where Further mining can just go straight straight back. I don't think there's going to be dirt yeah, above above anything at this point. Oh! Ow! My lord. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> the swing on melee weapons obviously also affects tools. And although, in my mind, whilst that was, you know, certainly not, uh, not work, uh, work safe, the rock should have stopped the swing full stop. I shouldn't have been carrying through my my pickaxe swing into Sheila for a bit of glancing damage when I was striking a wall of rock. Surely my axe should have stopped at the rock. But alas, no. Sorry about that, Sheila. It, it stopped at Sheila. Well, technically, no. It probably went straight through you, and had there been another player nearby, they would have also got a clobber as well. I'm so sorry. I'm a derp. Right, my steel pickaxe is almost it's okay. almost broken now. It was an accident. There we go. Right, I would say that this is, in fact, I'm going to move these uh, pillars. There we go. Right there, yeah. That should be all the way back now, stone, from here. Good Wonderful. job done. I'm going to tear down these uh, wooden frames, and I'm going to move okay. the uh, torches more inside, if that's all right. 
Got a little zombie yeah. down there in the fields just beyond me to the uh, southeast. Do you want to get rid of them or are they only okay one. at the moment? It's only one so far, but uh, you know what? I haven't checked behind this on the wall in a while. Uh, up the mountain, rather. I'm probably a little bit too close to the mountain to be able to see easily at the uh, crest. But I don't believe there's anything up there. I'm going to take, deal with the uh, zombie now. Where are you? You're going to go behind the tree, aren't you? Ah, oh, you scoundrel. There we go. Oh, no, man, I must have got a headshot. Perfect. Got it down straight away? Yep. Well done. Two arrows, but uh, only one of them needed to hit. So you're going to go off and do a little bit of scavenging now, are you? I think that's probably wise. Use the daylight while I've got it. Yeah. I'm just going to leave this there, Shelab. So it'll cast light down here. Okay. Do you want the other torches? Here's one. I'm going to go grab the other two and bring Thank them down you. to you. That way you can drop them in the mine. Because the deeper you go, the less sunlight is going to be available. Yeah. And overall, the worse it's going to get. Of course, one of the trees ate one of my torches. Alas! So, only three torches for you. But you can just move them as you, as you go. Oh, yes. I remember your children's story. <laughs> well, it wasn't really a children's story. You were like, oh, that would make a beautiful children's story. I was like, oh, a Lovecraftian story. We can go with that, too. Eldritch horrors and elder gods, etc., etc. Uh, here's another torch. Thank you. Oops, wrong button there. There you go. Um, though it's not going to be of immediate use. Uh, well, actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to go repair the steel pickaxe. There's. Uh, did you get the torch in the end? Yep. Cool. Uh, while I'm not, to, it's not going to be of immediate use. I am going to go and repair this uh, steel pickaxe, and I'll probably hit a coal node and a nitrate node soon, so I can start stockpiling massive amounts of bullets. We may not be through that wall early enough. Um, if the Horde Knight is tomorrow, then it might be a real risk. Yeah. But we can certainly try. It might not be prepared enough for that. It, with enough bullets, you know, it, it will have a good... It could be day nine, though, and then we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, if it's day nine, we've got no problems. Uh, do we have any chrysanthemums? We don't. Well, that's just not good enough. Uh, I'm going to take the empty bottles just in case I can find somewhere to get some water. I'll drop off the feathers for now. 42 iron crossbow bolts is more than enough for me. Uh, the frames. Let's drop those. Let's condense my inventory a bit. Got loads of plant fibers. I just don't need them. Drop those off. Um... Chrysanthemum can be dropped off for now. Oh, actually, no, we've got 13 chrysanthemum. Uh, right, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a bunch of red tea. Eight red tea. There we go. It's making in the fire. So that'll be a little bit better for us. Certainly a lot safer to drink. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Have a little bit of goldenrod tea, but mostly red tea. Probably. I seem to always find a lot more chrysanthemum than I find goldenrod. Well, goldenrod is good for curing dysentery, but uh, red tea is better in general because when you eat, uh, when you drink it, you remove um, you, you have efficient digestion for a while, which is oh, okay. particularly nice. Does that mean that you uh, your hunger goes down more slowly or something? Yeah, pretty much. Hunger and thirst. It's either that or you get more out of the stuff that you drink. I, I'm not entirely certain on it, but uh, either way, it's good stuff. All right, I'm going to set our forge to make 168 bullet casings. Nice. And with that... It's really good for making bullets because like that i think that's a mistake we've made before in in some of our test runs and stuff is to not actually make bullets and rely on just what you find i think you can it's it's a trained behavior find, i think but... more than anything i i think that it's mm. a trained behavior that one we're so used to that being the way you have to be that we don't yeah. question it and don't challenge or, or, or try to get through there uh hmm. 
I'm a little bit concerned about our lack of food, so I may try and hunt. We've got some ears of corn, but it's not going to be that useful for us. Uh, did you have all of the glue with you? I used all of the glue, unfortunately, so you may have to make more. Do you have any repair kits? One. Uh, I'm making a second as well, so yeah, I'll have a couple on me. Uh, okay. Well, I'll uh, do my best. I'm going to have to go and find a source of murky water, because you need um, murky water for glue. So, I'm going to dip into the town. That may actually be a water tower over there, and if so, that's solved all of our problems. We shall see. There is a, a lake directly to the east of my position. You may have it. Oh, yeah, so there is. Oh, that's fantastic, then. Yeah, so you can just head for that if you can't find a, a water tower or whatever. Yeah, will do. May as well get rid of all of these while I'm around, just because I can. I think this is a water tower. It might not be, though. By the way, I meant west. It's okay. <laughs> you know that if I say east, I mean west. No, no, it's just I, so I'm, I'm so bad that I looked to the west when <laughs> you said terrible. east. <sighs> I do it all the time. In uh, in Re Legend, there was a puzzle where I had to do north, south, east, and west, and I actually like had to think a, a bit about the puzzle, not because I it couldn't get the clues of the puzzle because I got east and west back to front, <laughs> but I don't tend to get left and right wrong. It's just east and west. You're in a significantly better situation than I am. Then, All right? That's uh, yeah. This is a water tower, so that's a lot easier for us. Uh, it's kind it. of an odd situation here, but sure. There we go. 112 murky waters. Thank you. Very good. There we are. And all the way down again. All right. I'm going to go back and get a little and bit I more. Make some glue. Yeah, I'm going to make some glue. I'm also going to grab some chrysanthemums on the way. I thought I'd grab the cotton plants too. Not that we need to gather the cotton plants. Honestly, you don't. You really, really don't. Yeah, you definitely sound so much, so much happier now. You're not affected. I'm so pleased. Well, that was a, that was an ever-present threat. Yes, I mean it's like you know, ah, you know, kind of move on. I guess we we all become skeletons one day. But it's just that you generally hope that before you become a skeleton, you don't become a zombie and then you get your friends. No one wants that. No. Well, actually, there's probably quite a few people who do. Uh, the world is full of full of strange and wonderful it's like people. Tr Trade of Franco, we're all bones inside. There we go. I think that's where I got the "we're all become skeletons one day" line from. I think that was Trey as well. Yeah, I think it, I think it, it that might have been him actually. Like he might have just said "we're all skeletons one day" or something. But it amused me that like about. Two weeks later, Lindsay posted on uh, on her Instagram, like, Trey just found out about death. And it's like, well, but he was talking about skeletons the other day. Look, Trey, Trey is young enough that uh, knowing that we're all eventually going to become skeletons does not necessarily lead on to the idea that we're all eventually going to die. I'm totally on board with yep. this. As would Thane be from Divinity Original Sin 2. Wait, what was his philosophy on it, then? Well, Thane was a skeleton. But he was alive. Oh, yes, that dude. Yes. I remember him. Quite an interesting character, that one. He was cool, actually. I liked him. I just didn't remember the name properly. I, I forgot. I forget so much stuff. It's terrible. It takes a little while for me to forget things, but uh, generally speaking, once I've forgotten them, they tend to be completely lost. It's like... It's it's not a case that my my brain has just forgotten the pointer to this information and then just something will jog my memory and bring it back. It's that, no, my brain has decided that space was better use something else and it's completely overwritten no, whatever I, was there. No, I am very much, like, if you point me back to something, it tends to dredge up. It, I, I have a, a bad short-term memory and a good long-term one. Right, right, yeah. So things tend to lodge in there forever and a day, but I might just forget 
no, until that, it's sorted. That's very job. different with me. If I remember it, I can remember I can remember things that happened that my, my parents are still kind of shocked that I have such vivid memories of. When I was really young, and I, and I mean really, really young, they're, they're very errant memories. Like most people won't have memories of certain mm-hmm. things. But if, if it was a, a formative experience, then, you know, you're going to store it. But uh, I, I definitely can remember things from inordinately far in the past. Not one of these people but, that can remember being in the womb. Uh, no, no. Thankfully, because I'm fairly like certain that would be a horrific day, pretty experience. Sure, pretty sure Harry Kim out of Star Trek was saying he remembered being in the womb. Like, I'm fairly certain that, that would be an absolutely man. terrifying experience. I'm yeah, in a I fleshy know. prison. Like... Ah, let me out. Who knows? Though? That that might be where like Geiger and some of uh, uh, HP Lovecraft stuff came from. Memories of being stuck in this this fleshy, bloody prison, and then eventually just like kicked out in a, in a sack full of liquid. Ah, screaming, kicking giants trying to eat you as much as you knew what they were trying to do, so on and so forth. That that would genuinely yes. be a horrible, horrible experience. Do not bring that memory back, Brain. I'm quite happy with you not having stored it. Yes. Uh, right, let me. I don't remember buttons. anything before I'm like, where I was like four. Right, Nothing. We'll glue, don't we? Make me all of the glue that you can. 13 glues, I accept. And then make me all of the. Oh, I've got enough for six. And then I think I've got another. Le- well, actually, I've got a load of chrysanthemum. No, I've got loads. Um, don't make all of it, though. Make. 40 bottled waters. That should be good enough, I think. We'll store the rest. So are you making uh, repair kits at the moment? I will be, yes. you need the glue for? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's repair kits that I went out to get the glue yeah. for. And also some actual uh, proper drinks. We've got a decent amount of red tea now. We'll be able to get quite a lot of uh, goldenrod as well. In fact, on that note, I'll leave some of the red tea behind so that you can have some. Uh, do you know what I mean to bring Wonderful. you some, actually? That would be amazing. Okay. Although maybe I should come and get it, because you know what? I've been stuck in this cave for ages. Fair. Completely fair. Maybe I should come out and get some sunlight. Yeah, you don't want to become cave adapted. Uh, bad news I bears, know. even for dwarves. You, ne- you need to be able to handle the sun in small doses so that you can effectively wage war against uh, surface-dwelling races. Yes. Those pesky elves. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> bloody, bloody flesh-eating elves, how dare. Uh, right, okay, I'm going to head on and continue exploring, uh, which is what I was meant to be doing for a little while, but I think... Uh, is the red tea just in the fire? Uh, no, it, it'll be in the crate in right the next chest. to it, yeah. Well, we've searched that house, which is fine. Uh, have we done? I see. Thank you. Uh, yum yum yum. I don't recall. Did we take? Uh, did we explore the uh, like the the little factory area yet? I do not recall. I don't think I've been in any factories on my own. Okay, that might be somewhere worth uh, investigating. Then there's also a farm down here. So far, I think for the most part we've done everything along the western road. And as far as, well, yeah, the the road that goes east-west right in front of our house, we've explored everything that yeah. branches off directly off that road. And mm-hmm. we've explored everything in the block south of our house. I believe that factory there, though. The map is covered for me on the southeastern, and I'm definitely right there, southeastern block. Um, and the southwestern block I've got half covered. Okay. So I haven't been around any of those areas by the looks of it at all yet. Oh, j- guess what I just found? Honey. No. Antibiotics. No. It's a, it's a point of interest. Uh, another point of interest like the one we're in? No. No, actually, that's uh, that's uh, um, that's being changed. It, it's gonna pop be, and pills. You no. Know, very unlikely to happen, by the way, that you'll find two of the same building in, the, in a town. Yes. It is the um, um, man... Man... Dog pig... Is that, is that the one? Man, man Snake Pig? Oh, yeah. I think we should uh, go and check that one out. That That's always a fun one. You want to check that out right now? Uh, not right now, but it's definitely something that we should, could, should consider. 
Yeah, I've lost my I've lost my base. Where's it gone? Oh dear. That's not a good thing to lose. Grab this wood one on here. That's a lot of wood in these wood piles. Wow. I approve. On that note, I should really get rid of this stone axe and uh, make a better one. Well, of course, I need fibers. There we go. Come back here, you. Right. I'll we'll continue to have a look in this uh, building. I'm just going around the perimeter first, just checking the uh, points of entry. Making sure that I understand my points of escape, should I need them. But I do believe we're going to be going through the front. This little balcony up here, is that connected? Uh, it is actually connected, yes. Let's have a look around there then. Is this door going to open? Oh, multiple points of entry. That's a bit of an uncommon one. I'm over at the house with the incredibly steep roof. Typically a roof like this would uh, exist because you're in a, uh, live somewhere where there's a lot of snowfall. Uh, so that yeah. the snow will fall straight off the roof. So having this this uh, kind of platform just outside seems kind of counterintuitive because the snow will just pile up on the platform. I just shot a deer okay. and I can't find it. <sighs> she left. That's. I needed a doggo with me to sniff it out. That's awful. That poor majestic deer has now died for nothing. No, it was right here. Where's it gone? Uh, I think I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up, actually. Let's have a look at this, then. It's interesting that there are two points of entry. That's not too common. I'm fairly certain I just spotted the side of a zombie in there. Yes, I did. Distinctive blue jeans. I'm going to have to tippy-toe right How down. do you lose an entire deer? Well, I mean... There are reasons why you only take kill shots on deer is because they can actually travel at a ridiculously great distance whilst bleeding out. Um, so you, no, no, in real dropped, life, you can. Dropped. I can't find this. Uh, I I don't know how you've managed to lose that then, um, unfortunately. But uh, in real life, a deer can Maybe travel it a great distance. Fell into the ground or something. So workbench down here is that going to be a uh, usable workbench? Because if so, that's going to be amazing. Shot it with the so. rifle. I can now, thanks to my urban combat book, jump fully whilst sneaking. My jump height is no That's longer impacted awesome. by sneak. And I can land silently. Oh, so good. Such a great book to have gotten. I'm in full search scavenge mode now. We've uh, moved past the point where I'm constantly worried that I need to be doing something else. I don't need that light, though. I'm so sorry. I've been blinding everyone on YouTube. Um, mm -mm. Or not. Maybe they're like, ah, for once, we can see, clearly. Yeah, that was irritating, yeah. though. I was like, I'm going to get some meat for us. Yay! And I was like, no, I can't find it. Oh, I'm sorry, Philip. There is oh, no. a zombie right there. Hello, you. Let's uh, end your suffering. There we go. Nice and quick. And relatively painless, I would assume. Uh, right, well, I'm going to take... Oh, no, no, this is a functional workbench. Oh, fantastic. Oh, nice. We will drop a waypoint here. I'm going to put in... Hmm. I'll put in a house. I'll share that one straight away, Shilab. Did I get food poisoning? Because I'm suddenly on 35 stamina, 35 food. Hey, you should be able to look in your... Um, no, I don't think I did, because I'm still on 121 water. I think but food I poisoning think only affects your food. Yeah, I'm just super low on food. Uh, we have been fairly low, actually. Um, I mean, I can I can work on anything like that you want. We have got the workbench now, so you can manufacture various things that you need, such as the crucible. Uh, let me know what you need ah, us to get awesome. for that, and I will make it a priority to get it. Okay. Well, I can I see that from in here. Well, Did you accept the maybe? shared 
waypoint? Um, not yet. There's something upstairs, isn't there? Very angrily trying to get down to me. It's going to cause me problems. Got it now. Thank you very much. I need to get out of here then. Uh, my inventory is pretty full right now, so I am heavily burdened. Do you need me to come and like help you with that, or are you alright? Uh, if you head in my direction, it wouldn't be a bad thing. It would mean I wouldn't have to uh, stop what I'm doing. I wasn't really headed your direction. I was in the middle of mining, but uh, I can come and help if you want. Uh, I certainly wouldn't say no. It seems to be a zombie active somewhere. I can't work out where it is, though, because there's so many sleepers right next to me that are completely oblivious to my existence. Even this one, who I'm mining the, the block right behind it. Oh, must be having really nice dreams. Ooh, 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 I can get. I've got a, a level help. enough now to get. May your dreams last forever, little zombie man. Tinkerer! Woohoo! So with Tinkerer, what does that unlock for you? Uh, making workbenches. <laughs> okay. And for, I think probably a couple of other things. Let's have a look. Craft workbenches, table saws, and cement mixers, and craft items with them 20% faster. Oh, that's fantastic. I will um, use the table saw schematic in the base then, in that case. Yep, absolutely. Stealthy, Avak is stealthy. But it looks like I'm going to need to look at the workbench to see what, uh, what, how to make a crucible. Oh, okay. So you can't type it in. Uh, well, when just I in type search. it's weird because when I just type it in in the search, it comes up with perk, advanced engineering, crucible schematic. So uh, try it. Need... Try it now because now you've got advanced engineering. That should show what you what you need. Yeah, so let's just type it in again just in case it was like stuck on that or something. Mm -hmm. No, it's saying I need advanced engineering and a crucible schematic. No, it's saying you need one or t'other. Oh right. Damn it, that's gonna run out very quickly. Oh here we are. There were some tabs at the top I wasn't seeing. That's my fault. A hundred forged iron. Mm-hmm. 20 mechanical parts, mm -hmm. 1,200 sm sm small stones, sorry, 20 oil, and 900 clay soil. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. Nope. All of them relatively easy things to get. Okay, Yay, level up. Bench in the house. Looks like we had a bit of a hoard, and that's what the banging was. A lot of zombies trying to get through. Yeah, I might make us a workbench for the house as well. Yeah, sure. It's better to have it over there. And once we've got a uh, workbench in the house, I'll demolish the one down here for its components. Yeah. What on earth was that shot? I don't even know. Oh, my lord. Well, that's unfortunate. Please... Reload the crossbow. There we go. I should have just punched you, honestly, but... I kept thinking, no, this will be fine. This will be fine. And it was not fine. Also, I didn't get an infection there. Hooray! Because I honestly was thinking that was the next... That was the next thing that was about to happen. Okay. No. We're going to have fisticuffs, you and I. Like gentlemen. Scallywag. I'm out of stamina. Forge wait, wait, has been wait. Allowed to go out. Come on. There we go. That's a bit better. I took a lot of health damage here, but that was kind of cathartic, I'll be honest. Not going to lie. I enjoyed that. Right, I'm heading back to you, though. I've got quite a few items I need to drop them off. Um, my crossbow it. is on its way out, though, which is none too great. I do have the means to repair it, I suppose, but. Uh, I don't feel I really do want to get a better crossbow soon. So f I'm finding a starving. bow would be great. Let's have a little look at any food at all. 
Right, reload. There we go. Thank you. Right, on my way back. Slowly, considering my encumbrance. I should have. I, honestly, I should have taken that that vitamin so soon when that when that was happening. That was so silly of me to have waited yeah. that long. I've been hit like but three or four times. But don't worry too much because now we know we can like. Uh, I'll take out any stumps I see for honey. We've got a couple of antibiotics. At least it's not terrible if you do get something. No, though, if we do get an infection and we don't have honey to fix it, and we do have antibiotics, then just let it rise. Yeah. Don't take the antibiotics straight away. Don't use the honey uh, if, you know, um, if we don't need to. Because honey seems to be a lot uh, easier to come by than antibiotics right now. I've got a lot of bullet casings. It's fantastic. I'm going to move those across. Uh, let's pop the brass doorknobs in there to smelt. Right. Uh, barracks chairs. Now, I'm wondering if I can get more materials out of deconstructing these. I'm not entirely certain if deconstructing them uh, with a wrench will get me more, but that's certainly true of quite a few um, types of materials, so might as well try it. Uh, is there anything else in there? We'll drop the coal off. Got bullets that I need to put somewhere. Got some beer that I can drop off. Springs, cans, engines that we can use for a cement mixer. That will be quite nice. Fantastic. Take these cans with me. I should have planted those trees as well. I took them out specifically to plant them to get them out of our inventory, and I didn't do that. You silly of me. Right, uh, cans, you can be smelted. Uh, right, I'll pop those on my hotbar so I know to use them. Looking around for any bird's nests or anything but eggs and things like that. That's you. There's all the black blue. There we go. How are you doing, Sheila? What other than the uh, really badly because I'm so hungry, huh? Oh, okay. I was going to say, other than uh, looking for bird's nests, what are you up to right now? Being hungry, pretty much. <laughs> other than that, I'm good, though. Well, at least that's something. Still very annoyed that I can't find that deer. It would have had so much meat on it. Yeah, yeah, that is a bit of a blow, but don't worry. We'll, we'll sort things out soon. Yeah. I'm basically kind of hoping that I'll come across an animal or something like shoot. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Got another honey there. Oh, yeah, that's good. And an egg. Right. I'm making some bullet tips now as well. I'm smelting down some more iron. Okay, let's uh, see about deconstructing you. Actually getting a decent amount of stuff back from these chairs by using the wrench on them. Wow. I have been doing that wrong this whole time. My oh, lord. That's my food now. I don't want to have another run where I die of starvation. <laughs> <laughs> no, understandable. That would be so bad. We've got loads of cans in the base. So there's really no reason for you loads not to. Loads of cans because I was looking and I could only see like a can of miso soup. Mm, let me go have and we check. we actually got loads of cans? Or did, I thought or we did. Or have I just been looking in the wrong place? I'll just go and double check. Let me, let me have a quick look. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you're quite right. We do only have one kind of miso soup. We've got ears <laughs> of corn, though. We've got cornmeal. Um, let me have a quick look at what I can make with that. Um, so, food-wise. Cornbread requires cornmeal and bottled water. We've got plenty of that. Um, corn on the cob requires ear of corn and bottled water. Cornmeal itself. I can't make. You know what? Uh, I am the chef, so let me go and pop... A point into that if I can. Uh, Master Chef. Ah, right, no, I can't. I need to, uh, need to increase get some stat, points in really. strength, unfortunately, for that one. Yeah. It was a bit of a pain. But I will pop down a point in Keen Eye so I can hunt a bit. Mm, that would be useful. And for the time being, I'm. <sighs> So again, that, that level would be good. Craft steak and potatoes, meat stew, vegetable stew, and blueberry pie. Um, um, 
Chad, there isn't actually anything in there that tells me how to make... Um, hmm. Is that something I can just make with ears of corn themselves? Oh, I can just make cornmeal straight up. Okay. Uh, I've got a few eggs now, so you can maybe make some boiled eggs. I didn't really find any meat, I'm afraid. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some. Uh, I'm gonna make one cornbread and one corn on the cob, just so that we can see which is the better meal. Yeah, that's good. So we know which one's best mm -hmm. to try and make. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've got all of these. I can drop that off. Pop the metal across here to continue smelting. I do seem to find a honey from every, pretty much every stump I cut down, so I don't know if me finding that book has made that... That may well have dramatically increased the odds, or yeah. just I didn't properly appreciate how how easy it was to get. Uh, either way, um, there's a number of things that I can try and make. I can, I can make things with potatoes. Uh, we do need to get a farm up and running then, I would say. Yeah. Um, shouldn't take us too long. I've got some corn on the cob cooking and some oh, corn bread. Anything that'll just so that we can find out what are the, which one is the better one. Then there's, I've got plenty of materials to make more of that. And there does appear to be a farm in the distance, so we've got options ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we've got seven eggs now. Very nice. Okay, if you leave those in the in the chest, and I'll uh, do my best with them. Awesome. I'm not sure. Can Did I my... eat the cornbread? Yeah, that's that's why I've got it there. But make sure you you make note of what's involved in that, like what you get back so from over... eating cornbread versus eating corn on the cob, so that we know which so one's the better. So it says max one. stamina four and health two. Okay, is that on cornbread? Yeah. Yeah. And what about the corn on the cob? Uh oh, it's just made max stamina five, health two. Then corn on the cob sounds like the better option. What's one better? They're both four percent food poisoning as well. Okay. Well, uh, I'll make plenty of corn on the cob then. In that case, and maybe some boiled eggs as well, if you if you can. I don't know if that's yep. something you can as do. As soon as I get back, I will make that a priority. Awesome. Got some sham. Yay! Good old sham. The fire just went out. Oh, I think it's made everything. Yeah, I didn't leave over much uh, in there that wasn't going to be necessary. Like, I didn't leave too much um, fuel in there, considering I didn't have much to make. Yeah. Empty cans um, smelt down into iron, don't they? Yep. Oh dear. Hello there. I heard you. Get up slowly so I can get a good headshot. Thank you. Very kind of you. I appreciate your compliance. Um. See if there's anything else I can smelt. These. I think we smelted it all. Definitely some zombies out here trying to get to me. I can hear them. I cannot see them. Be careful because it's about to turn night in 10 minutes. Yeah. I will try to be careful. No promises. Do you need some help where you are? Or are you okay? Oh, I do not see any tracks already. Oh, right, because I crouched and I've got the hunting perk. Right, right, right. That's actually pretty cool. Ah. But yeah, you're more than welcome to come and help me. Okay. I'm just thoroughly looting this, this building. You can probably easily see which building it is. Mm-hmm. Really? A house with a big lot um angled roof. Yeah. You're gonna sneak in. Mm-hmm. You can sneak in from the side, that's where I came in through. I'm taking apart anything I can that might have metal in it. Ah, for the cool. amount of metal that we're gonna need. Yeah. 
Something just woke up. Oh. Okay. You did not come in through the ground floor, did you? Reloading. They're coming through the side. Yeah, the uh, side, uh, which was the ground floor hole. Oh, right. I came in through the this unlocked door yeah, no, to that's the fine. side of the building. No, that's fine. So that was where You've that... You've got zombies coming. From. You need to listen up to find out where they're coming from. Honestly, probably want to just go out there and invite them. Come out with me. Got him. Twenty-four seconds on my my infection immunity. Nice. Got one coming up behind you. Up the stairs here. Nice work. You can finish it off. Oh, I missed the shot. Okay, I got it. It's fine. We're good. Something banging something nearby. Probably in there. It may not be able to find us, though. I used the bullets uh, needlessly there. I do apologize. I should have just used my uh, my crossbow, honestly. But I could see you taking damage, so I, I no, rushed it. Fine. and It was Thank silly. Right. Okay, well, I was downstairs still looting, but you can happily loot up here. I have not cleared this place of zombies, however, so be aware. Okay. Laser sight mod schematic. Yes, please. Uh, I've got batter up volume seven. Metal chain mod. Don't have enough knockdown power. Learn to craft a metal chain modification and increase your stock That's in the wheelchair up. business. Would you like that? Are you. I'll just check if I already had seven. No, I've only got two at the moment, so seven would be amazing. There you go. Thank you. I will continue. Tearing everything down. I'll leave certain things, like things that have lights on them for now. Because they are useful. For the time yeah. being. Right, we've got uh, a little bit of something there. A little bit of trap. Oh, I've been cans. in there. <laughs> Sneaking in all the cupboards. There's splint. Oh, well, honestly, we're getting some use out of those lately. That is not too bad. I'm going to take the plant. I want to make our home a little bit nicer. Can I wrench? I can wrench a... Two sleepers upstairs. Seti. Wow. I wonder if that is really worth it. Okay, I'm coming up to deal with the sleepers then. But yeah, you can wrench... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Is it up? Yeah. Is it dead? No. Damn it, I missed. Okay, hello. I swear, if I got an infection there, I would have been so annoyed with myself. Where's the second sleeper? Behind. If you turn around. Odds are my arrow would stick in the wall. But if I sneak up on it, I've got 2.5. Um, I'll cover you with a hunting rifle. Okay, yes, please. Because he's the last zombie in here. I was letting all of my stamina drain there by uh, aiming for so long. Let me eat some sham. Going to drink some red tea. Set my nerves, you know. Perfect. Oh, dear me. Hello. Stay down. Let's get back up. Who's that? Oh. Thank you. Uh, some ammo, radiator, some food. Nice. May I have the food? Yes, of course you can. Needling thread. Here's a sham. Here's peas. Here's chicken ration as well. Uh, winter wear. Get ready for winter and stay warm by learning how to craft flannel shirts, sweatshirts, and skull caps. Haven't I already learned that one? I think so. Uh, yeah, I've. Uh, yeah, so this one's for you then. See that? There you go. Ah, oh, so good eating food. The needle and thread is just behind me on the ground. Did you get it? I already picked it up. I got it. Awesome. We'll leave that one since it's casting some light in here. Later on, we'll tear these things down, maybe, but for the time being, they're useful. But 
Definitely worth scavenging broken lights, chairs, that sort of thing. Yeah. Bed as well. Steroids and blood bags in the uh, okay. medical supplies. Can I tear down this with a... No, that is still very much a uh, an axe job. And this, no doubt, is sure. just a window. Ooh. Ammo. Ammo pile. Just a little bit of uh, shotgun shells. Nice, see? Yeah, not bad. I'll take down this light as well. Get the mechanical parts out of it. Why there are mechanical parts in a light, I don't know, but... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to question you. Game. I don't have a, do I have a wrench on me? Ooh, it's cold out here. Interesting. This is the first time I've actually felt cold in the game. Because you might be able to take apart the like cooker and toaster and microwave and things down here. Food pile. Oh, you know what's probably happened is my uh, newbie protection from the elements has probably just run out because of my level. Ah. Oh, I got myself a wrench. Oh, under fantastic. The sink. So now I can pull all the stuff apart myself. Oh. Feels like 12 degrees. Ah, oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, that shouldn't be anything to worry about. I don't think I can make it up that uh, slope on something. So I'm going to ignore it for now. Can I wrench a door? No, I cannot. Try it. You used to be able to get doorknobs off doors. I think there is a skill for that now. Unfortunately, it doesn't always seem to uh, result in anything useful. Much sadness. Uh, right. I'm going to take out this glass. Really? That medical pile only had dye in it? Ah, they won't always cheated. be good. I thought cheated. How dare you, game? She lab does not approve. Suitcase, what have we got in here? Oh, brass trophy. I will take that, please and thank you. Grab the uh, wood from these bookcases. May as well. Saves me having to go outside and chop down trees. I was certain I heard a zombie there. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, hello. Hello. I don't see any tracks. There's a bloody deer on the roof over there. Don't see any tracks. My backside. There's now a dead deer on the roof over there. Don't see any tracks. My lord. Well, there was no tracks because it's been jumping across the roofs. Uh, <laughs> no, no, there's no tracks because there's a reindeer. <sighs> it's flying. Really? I swear, if the game is actually implementing that, there are a bunch of, of deers that are just going to appear across roofs. Oh, don't, don't, don't make it that I've just killed one of Santa's deer game. That, that's just, that's a low blow. Low? Yeah, it, it wasn't Rudolph. Blow. But, but, but really? yeah, it was one of them, definitely. <laughs> <sighs> she left me not helping, you're making me feel worse. Why would you do this to me? So rude. Where did the deer go? It's on the roof on the still. Roof opposite, right? Yeah, it's directly opposite. Can you not see it? No. Deers are going missing. Maybe she lab is just having some troubles with seeing deers. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to come and take, and take it apart then. Yeah. Now, we have not looted this particular point of interest, I don't believe. No, I'll cover you. I have definitely been oh, shooting things worth. in here. So it is possible. I'll cover you with a hunting rifle, actually. Well. Yeah, there's something moving towards me right now. It's spotted me and... Headshot. Hold. Hold. Wait until you see the whites of their eyes. Headshot. Down. Well done. <sighs> okay. I'm going to try to stealthily... Cut up the steer. Sorry, I can't not. Pop. 
Ooh, 40 Womp. ammo for you on there. Womp. Pistol ammo. <laughs> I can't believe you're having that. Fine. It's my Christmas present. Meat. Okay. Some gas. Well, got 48 meat from that. Four um, animal fat. Got a jar of honey in my inventory. Oh, I don't know. Well done. Very kill nice day. kill. There is a um, item in there, in that hay pile. There's also a well over here. Nothing like an aerial as one thing of water. Nothing like an aerial view to help. <laughs> I know, right? Eye in the sky. That is me. Uh, right, I am looking stiff crate in that garage. Not going to continue losing this place. Thought I'm going to leave. There? Thank you for not shooting okay. me. Uh, I'm going to leave first. I did want to finish up uh, looting the house opposite, honestly. But uh, I think we've probably torn out most of the things that are worth it in there. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm get certain this we have. Stiff crate just because it's like a special crate. Sure. Got a steel fire axe. Nice. Wait, I'm not going in the right direction, am I? No, I'm going in exactly the wrong direction. There we go. That was the next house on the list Ooh, to uh, loot. Frame. So, it's not too bad. I'm just admit, kind of looting some nice things out of the garage. Yeah, no, you take your time. You, you can go ahead and just loot everything in there. It's not a problem. I'm very over encumbered though, so if something runs out at me, it's not going to be good. So I'm just going to. I'm actually going to head back to the base, That's I think. Pretty much why I'm leaving, actually. So. I completely understand your decision and I agree with it. I think it is a clever move to make. Yeah, I'm very happy to have a steel axe, though. That's awesome. Yeah, that'll be really good. I can have the uh, fire axe back then. You can. Now. In just about two minutes, we're going to find out if tonight is Horde Night. Oh, yes. And she left us be slacking off. Kind of liking the fact that we've been uh, looting this town methodically, because we, we are emptying this town. Yeah. It's small enough that we can make our way through the entirety of it. And when it and then has been emptied, we can find another town. And by yeah. then we might have some bicycles or motorbikes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we've already got most bi uh, it's bicycle handlebars, and uh, I should imagine that you're quite capable of making all of the awesome I stuff that we need. I think my intelligence is now high enough that if I can get a couple more points, I can put them in to, uh, in, uh, to the grease monkey traits now. Because I put so many, I've got four points in intelligence at this point. Let me drop off all of these odds and sods, and then I shall... Military fiber should be dropped off there as well. So encumbered. Yeah. So encumbered. Well, that's what happens, unfortunately. Um, okay. Drop off the shells. Pop that brass in there to smelt. Right, okay then. In terms of foods, I can make some boiled meat. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and make some boiled meat then. I'll make six boiled meats. Actually, no, though. Didn't we have some eggs? Yeah, we've got eggs. Okay. So you should be able to make some wakey wakey eggs and bakey. On its way. Making three of them right now. I'll leave the rest of the meat, but before we break that down. Uh, well, there shouldn't be any shopping shells in there. There we go. We need to sort out, have another chest, I think. Yeah.
Right, I'm going to move all non-food things out of the lower chest. Okay. And into the very top chest. I think that's uh, going to be a better option for us. Perfect. So we've got food, weapons, and other. Yeah, pretty much. I did manage to get a jar of honey as well. Excellent news. Uh, well, given that, we can now start stocking all of the uh, medical supplies in this chest as well. Uh, actually, I should put leave the goldenrod flower in there. There we go. Leaving the uh, notes and the likes in the um, middle chest, I would say. Mm -hmm. How much oil do we have? Uh, we've got um, a decent amount, actually, I think. We have 20. Uh, I'll let you know in just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got... Oh, oil, 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 oil. 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 Uh, 14. Oil. 14 currently, but we've got right, oil so shale. another six uh, of those oil bottles. We need another six of them. And I think we get them. We can get them by um, melting down cars. Sorry, breaking down cars, possibly. Okay. We'll need another six of them to make the crucible. But I think we have most of the other stuff, except for we just need to keep going with this, the forged iron. Yeah, I can definitely get those comp components from... Um, cars, I can, I can go out and uh, make a point of so tearing cool. those down. Yeah, there so maybe go. next episode will be a lot of breaking down cars. Yeah, and there's plenty plenty to break down. There's a lot of available um, cars around that we're going to be able to, to pull apart. But there we go. We've got a bit of a better inventory episode. and uh, yeah. even had some food. Happiest of days. <laughs> but that is going to be it for us for now. It looks like we've got another buy. Day six Another is not reprieve. the whole night. Uh, <laughs> whether day seven will be, yet to see. But that's going to be it from us. So until next time, as always, do take care, everyone. And keep being awesome.